everyone. Today I'm in Olival, it's part of the Orain Council, and I want to present you a property, a really nice property. It's, uh, it's all fenced, uh, with a proper wall and fence. Uh, the lady used to have a, a German shepherd, a dog, and uh, he was uh, just inside the, inside the, the land. Uh, it has uh, several different accesses. Uh, there's uh, one, two, like four gates to access to the property from different areas. Uh, it has lots of olive trees, orange, uh, and a few other trees. I can see peach, you can see some cherry, uh, lemon, and uh, it, is a, it is a nice one. This property, uh, it's going to the market, although there's a process to license the, the garage and the annex it's ongoing already on the Dioreng council so you would be buying with everything fully licensed uh, it's a process that might take a while but if someone wants to secure a deal in here uh, we can do a promissory contract a deposit and then only when it gets the the license at the end it's when you would get the, the the to pay the the final price okay I'll flip this around just to show you. Uh, Olival, it's a very nice uh, village. It has uh, some life. It has a hairdresser, it has the baker, it has a petrol station, a few restaurants. It's a quite a good uh, village. I know it very well. I was born in this uh, parish, so I know the area. I know it's a good area. And this house, it's a very good house and in a very good position. So. If you like the video, please uh, share or subscribe and uh, we'll take it from there, okay? I'm going to flip this around and show you the property. Okay, that's one entrance gate. Uh, you can see this fence on the side in there and in there. It's the fence of the property. Uh, we can see the fruit trees here, orange, these nice olives. Uh, that top part it's part of the property as well the soil it's very fertile uh, you can see there's another entrance gate in there when I say the property it's uh, it's fenced it has a proper fence with a wall and uh, gates if you see another gate in there all uh, this part is part of the property as well this fence it was just a separate like some chickens from the rest of the land so if I show you down here again more fruit trees the land I'll put some drawn uh, shots that will show you uh, how the land uh, is from the top you could see there's an old uh, barn here it's not uh, registered because they built a new house in the in the land so this is just an old, an old ruin. They end up leaving it here, but uh, well, if someone wants to to do it up, just some rendering, and uh, it would be nice. If not, just finish to knock it down. So again, here you have uh, the walls. That's a neighbor in there. But you can see the wall belongs to this property and it's a very uh, solid wall it's a brick wall but it was uh, purpose built so lots of orange trees if you see in here i know that everything looks too green the colors but it's the sun it's right eating the the trees here and uh, with the rain the recent rain everything is green and uh, and nice so that's the house in there that's neighbors down there you have neighbors around there's another gate in there another entrance gate a few more trees here yeah so and the house in there the house and the barns uh, this is where the the well uh, is I'll show you the outside here. They used to have some dogs uh, in these annexes. It's just 
gas bottles and the storage for the well you can see I think you can see in there this is just the storage room well you probably cannot see much but uh, yeah so in this one here let me see if I can open Okay, probably no, but I know it's just a storage room. Sorry about this too. Uh, that's the barn on the house. You can see the house. It has a cavity underneath and ventilation. Again, more ventilation in there. Most of the house, it has already the double glazed windows and the mosquito nets, the, the fly screens. Uh, you can see the plumbing has been updated and all with the like section taps. It has the fly screens here and the nice, uh, the nice uh, aluminium windows in there. So to the back here, there's this huge uh, water storage tank that can be ideal convert into a really good size swimming pool if you see here this is it it's it's quite big it's bigger than what it looks in the in the video so again all very greenish around again all fenced so nothing to worry about if you have your dogs your pets you can buy some sheep put them in the, the fields and they will help you maintaining it so to there there is there is this uh, aluminium structure connecting the the main house and the 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 barns so we'll go around the I'll go around the property The soil here it's really good it's uh, it's mostly flat it wouldn't be difficult to to maintain but the trees that are here already it's something that you cannot uh, that you cannot buy in an empty plot so there's two septic tanks in there uh, there's no main source in the village again there's the gate down there for people to access to work in the, the garden and you have this uh, garden here at the front as you can see neighbors in there but there's a front garden here so this is the the main house that's the gate from the front when you come into the garage that's the garage this is that uh, middle room that joins both properties so when you come in you arrive in this area it has uh, <coughs> this uh, uh, metal roof it's the sandwich panel uh, in here you have the only three windows that were not replaced because being inside uh, this uh, uh, connection from the the two rooms uh, the guy from the aluminium company told them that they wouldn't need to put anything here so they left those free to, to replace. Uh, in here you have part of, uh, well this part it's the one that is used as the garage. You can see there's a car inside, you can probably fit another two easily, uh, maybe three cars. This is for the central heating, it's a diesel boiler. Uh, diesel in there boiler this is for the hot water it's an electric uh, an electric uh, boiler for the hot water keeps the water at that temperature and uh, that's uh, how it works because you could use the hot water in the house as well from the central heating if not uh, you could uh, choose a different system uh, you come here this door leads to the back where the water storage tank is. Uh, I'm going to film this property without any extra light. Uh, this is a big uh, room, can be a big play 
playroom or kitchen, summer kitchen. But you can see it's very nice. And in here you have like a, a kitchen uh, with an old fire and an old bread oven in there. So yeah, these two rooms, they actually look smaller in the video than uh, they are in reality. Uh, I think they are more like if I put here with the, the wide angle, they are more like this. It's what I see with my, my eyes open. So let's do, let's do the house. Well, the house, it's a bit uh, dated. It's a house from the 80s. Uh, this is the kitchen area. There's an open fire in there. They have these windows uh, to close these uh, shutters to close it while well, uh, you don't use it. Uh, there's radiator in there for the central heating. And then you have the kitchen, the kitchen here. So these are the units. It's a, a gas uh, cooker and oven. The hot water again, it's done by the boiler on the outside. There's a fridge in there. It's a decent size. I wouldn't say it's a huge kitchen, but it's a decent size kitchen. You have these windows with the back, uh, the view to the back, to the garden. Uh, it has the fly screens. These are the windows, the double glazed. They do the tilt and turn, as you can see. So, yeah, so that's one part. Then uh, from there, we go to this hallway. That in there, it's like the, the main entrance, if you have a gas, but you end up probably never using it. Uh, there's a radiator in here. This is a bathroom, but it's more like, well, just a, a, a guest toilet. It's not, a, it doesn't have a shower. The light here is not working, so I'll show it as, a, as I see it. Uh, that's the window to the, to the back. Uh, to that room, this window was not replaced because it's to that room in the middle of the two constructions, the main house and the, the annex. So in here you have uh, the hallway, there's a bathroom in here, this one it has a bathtub, radiator, uh, toilet, uh, bidet and uh, a pedestal sink. So. Going back to here, you have another bedroom. This bedroom here, they are all similar size, uh, not bed size, but uh, because they have the, the built-in wardrobes in there and the wardrobes are really deep. They are good uh, wardrobes. So you don't really need uh, uh, a lot more space. So the bedrooms, I would say, they are a good size. That's to the front, the front garden, the neighbor, the window, the fly screen, you can see this one. They have these two bedside tables. They have placed this here, so the bedroom, it's not uh, that small. So going back to the main hallway, bathrooms to this side, like I told you, kitchen at the end in there. There's this, uh, I would say, pantry in here. There's an access to the loft in there. The loft has been insulated on top of the the concrete uh, slab and uh, the tiles are, are concrete and the beams uh, are all concrete as well so there's no worry with the, the the conditions of the roof it's in very good conditions there's another bedroom at the back in there the second bedroom it's this one here again decent size it's a double bed that you have in there there's a built-in wardrobe. Again, uh, views to the to the back. Still space in there, radiator. So it's quite uh, quite good size. Uh, I'll take you to the third bedroom. There's three bedrooms. All of them very similar in size, but all of them with a built-in uh, wardrobe, which helps uh, a lot. Uh, Mosquito nets, fly screens, neighbors at the bottom in there, but uh, first you have land from the property. Again, double glazed windows, radiator, the floor is laminated, 
uh, in the hallway and in part of the living in, living room it's tiles. Uh, going to this uh, like living room dining area, so you have uh, this kind of separate into different uh, uh, two different parts. If you see from the tiles to the to this uh, part, so you have a dining area. There's patio doors to the to the front. Uh, you have a, a wood burner in here. It's not being used, but it's all ready to to use. Radiator. The dining area, and in here it's the like sitting area. So you have a, a sofa again, radiators in there, and you could uh, see a nice sunset over here because it's uh, if you see down there it's the neighbors but it's also uh, west facing so yeah just uh, with a quick going back this is the the living room area bedroom bedroom pantry the guest toilet bathroom another bedroom so three bedrooms still now the main entrance door going back here would we'll go to the kitchen area the kitchen it's good size you can have a, a nice uh, this is quite a big table and you still have that space uh, to to work in the kitchen so it's not uh, it's not bad this house it has no cracks at all it's a very good uh, structure i think it's already a double wall with uh, with the uh, insulation in the middle uh, it belongs to a lady and the the, the sons uh, that uh, they live uh, most of the times in Canada so they are not here that's why they want to sell the, the house so yeah there's this nice marble marble floors here yeah this would be that main entrance door straight into the hallway electric meter so when I say the, the sunset, you have the sun set right here. Uh, so in here, this is the patio doors coming from the dining area. I didn't open because it has the fly screen here. But you can see the sun going down in there. It's a very good position related to the, to the sun. Uh, again, land in there. You could imagine just sit here in the afternoon have your animals uh, around your pets uh, and uh, just enjoy this nice uh, this nice sunset uh, again uh, Olivala it's uh, it's very close to very close to Liria to Orain to Tomar it's all like to Orain it's 10 minutes drive to Tomar half an hour to Liria probably another half an hour to the coast uh, maybe 40 minutes so location is very good it's a village that uh, it's a very sought after village people look into into buy here the locals do stay here there are places where to work around so uh, the families young families they they stay as well and uh, you have uh, neighbors there's people living all uh, all the year so i think it's a very good uh, house it's a very good option for someone well i can see my here uh, for someone looking to buy a house in a in a nice place and integrate into a nice community because this uh, this village they are they are very active uh, creating uh, events all kind of stuff so anything you need just uh, give me a call uh, or send me an email and uh, I'll do whatever I need to help you okay if you want to visit just uh, let me know uh, but yeah these are the buildings that are being licensed this one and uh, the garage in there and uh, the house it was built with a project but uh, because when it got to the the end of the works they didn't uh, actually went and applied for the license now we'll do everything at the same time we'll apply for the license for the house and license these two outbuildings but it's already ongoing uh, i know the lady that is working with this that is starting with the process so 
it started already. It's something that is going to happen. It's not one of those cases where they will tell you, yeah, this will be licensed. No, this is already on the process of licensing. Okay, any question, just let me know. And, uh, well, looking forward to hear from you. And uh, I know it's been a long time since I last uploaded my, my last videos, but I will probably start doing it a bit more frequently because I think it's a very good way to show you properties and to show you Portugal, okay? So for now, I would just uh, tell you uh, muito obrigado por verem este vídeo e hope one day welcome you to Portugal, okay? Bye!